for me, Winchester meeting is a really good combination of practicality and spirituality. If I could go every day, I'd go every day. It's that one hour of people in a group all focusing together, just being in the moment. It gives you probably the biggest perspective in Christian religion. It's simple, it's open, but it's a wonderful thing. It's the silence. I would say it nourishes my soul. Ministry in meeting is based on people's actual experience. We've all got insights. I went on a search for which church would allow me to be myself, and I almost gave up doing that. When I went to Quakers, I could have my own beliefs, and I still fit within that worshipping community. John O'Donoghue says the mystery never leaves us, and it doesn't. And for me, the Quaker meeting is the place I feel at home to explore that. I just feel it's a place of calm and caring and lovely people. I can say that coming here every Sunday, it's like a vitamin. Life seems brighter when I'm connected to my spirituality. It's an extremely friendly meeting. One of the first words of advice that I had from a, an elder here was, keep it light. Winchester meeting does a lot of practical things. It's got a big house and it bought a big house so it could provide accommodation for people in Winchester. It was trying to support people in the community who had fallen on bad times for all sorts of different reasons. And uh, there wasn't room in the house for a proper meeting. So we actually built a children's room by communal labour. The architect set out the frames from which this was made on Saturday we haul them up on Sunday. Quakers do care very much about how to achieve peace, starting with yourself, then your personal relationships, then your community, and then the world. Finding another way to solve issues and conflicts instead of fighting. The whole principle of really, truly practicing peace in daily life, unfortunately, that's a radical idea. That is what religion is all about. To me, is putting it into practice. The strength that comes from the meeting for worship helps you do all these things and accept challenges. And there's a lot going on. I belong to a peace and justice group, a book group, a later years group. But there are others as well. There's a gardening group, there's a healing group, poetry group. But all this stuff that's going on, it all makes for a lively meeting. Light isn't just a thing that glows or perhaps shines and that we're drawn to. It's something that we can do. And when you see it in others, you feel it yourself. You know, you're given a divine creative energy. How you manifest it is a challenge. <laughs>